How's it going YouTube? You got Pat Mack here, coach of the Sacramento Saints slash playing in week six of the PBA up against Dell, coach of the Edmonton Coilers. You can see our team up above, their team down below, both teams range in speed order, of course, as well as six Pokemon that we are bringing and the six Pokemon that I think uh, Dell is going to bring to our match. Part of our game plan here is definitely around Quiver Dance, Volcarona. Um, once we get like a Quiver Dance up, then I believe we outspeed everything on his team. And then we need a little bit of chip on stuff in order to put things into range for um, our Volcarona, but we have, uh, we have a tons of ways to do that. Um, hazards is one of those, right? Uh, our Torkoal has a way of getting Hazards set up. I think being able to clear Hazards is going to be kind of nice here too. Uh, and then I think Momentum is going to be really nice. Um, in particular, we have Momentum on the Roaring Moon and the Electros. And both those Pokemon uh, can Momentum, like use Volt, uh, Volt Switch or U-Turn on pretty much anything. Um, just because uh, if a Ground type does come in for uh, Electros, then we have Giga Drain to hit those Mons. So. I think we're in a pretty good position this match as long as we can make sure that these things in our game plan happen. So we'll see what six uh, Del Sizes bring in just a moment. All right, here we are in the match, and it looks like most of what I thought was coming is here, except there is no Corviknight. Okay, that's really nice because that bond was um, potentially kind of tough for us to break, but um, seeing a Breloom is actually super, super nice. Um, yeah, just because like we have quite a bit of fire, fire coverage, and this now means that, well, I guess he does technically have a, a ground resist in the Breloom, but um, yeah, I kind of feel I kind of feel okay about being able to deal with it for the most part. Uh, it's kind of hard to say what is a good lead here. Um, I like kind of want to lead Franklin. Yeah, I kind of want to lead Franklin uh, because. The, the Breloom is kind of a problem, and I want to be able to get rocks up or be able to threaten it out. And um, the mods that I wouldn't want to be able to be in front of, the um, Sandy Shocks or the, uh, what's the other Pokemon there? Um, Gastrodon. <laughs> then I can switch in uh, Electros and feel pretty good about that. Uh, and if it's Gardevoir, then I can switch in uh, Sylveon. So, um, yeah, I kind of feel good about the, that situation and I can switch in some of my breakers if uh, if I need to so anyway good luck have fun over to Dell should be a pretty good game it's most of what we thought was going to be here which is nice but it also means that we have to deal with Breloom which can be a bit of a problem just because uh, like dealing with um, what's the spore can be kind of frustrating Ooh, we get a new battle scene oh this is um oh what's the what's the thing called um this is the normal gym, dude. This is Larry's place. That's kind of exciting. Not gonna lie. Uh, I think here I just fire plume. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna fire plume. He probably spores me. Yeah, is what it is. Uh, I'll be asleep for a second. Um, I guess I could technically try to switch into something else, but we take our first turn to sleep here, and I'm just gonna lava plume again. Um, if he wants to stay in, uh, he is risking me waking up on the first turn, so which is totally a possibility. And that's about as much damage as I thought this was going to do, so nice to see that. We're asleep again. Okay, so I don't really want this to take that much damage. Like, I do need it to kind of check some other stuff. Uh, so I'm going to go into Sylveon, I think. We take a lot from Bullet Seed, but uh, I don't think he's going for a Bullet Seed here, at least. Um, and maybe I can break the Focus Ash on this. If not, outright kill it, but... I can't really just sit afford and just take rock teams all day. Um, that's just not how we can... That's not how we want to play this game, basically. Thankfully, you can't put anything else asleep, which is kind of nice, but... Um, yeah, Torkoal being asleep is kind of rough. So, I think I just Hyper Voice here. There... Oh, there's no uh, resist on the team. Oh, I guess there's technically a resist. There's technically Cinderace, but... Um, I kind of like the situation for us. It would... I wonder if it would have been nice to wish into our um our turkel that could have been a good play too actually yeah this makes sense i would like to get a chance hampton parks who's that oh that's you okay that's fine that did quite a bit of damage actually that was kind of cool uh so i'm just gonna go into electros here and we'll put some damage on this uh alternatively well yeah, I think I just go Electros. There's no real reason to stay in front of this um, when I can pressure it with some damage output. Um, 
plus be immune to a ground type attack if they come. More likely it's hazards being set up right here. Yeah, stealth talk. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I guess I technically could have killed this Pokemon, huh? If they had has, yeah, if they had used hazards right there. Yeah, that's um, that's kind of tempting actually. That would have been kind of sweet. Uh, so I think I'm gonna. I kind of just want a Giga Drain. Like, yeah, let's just Giga Drain. I think it's very easy to read this and like go into Gardevoir maybe go into. Um, I don't know who this is. This is totally okay with me, right? I want to be in front of this Pokemon. Yeah, that's fantastic, actually. Uh, in fact, I think I just Giga Drain again, then? Um, yeah, based on that damage, right? I could probably just Flamethrower also. Let's go and Flamethrower. Uh, okay, so I think he forgot about Levitate, which obviously is great for me, but uh, I kind of assumed that there was going to be a switch, so I didn't end up killing it. Uh, I can flamethrower again this turn though, so. Great situation for me. Uh, probably a volt switch here is my guess. Um, but going for an earth power there is a little surprising. Yeah. And what did they go into then? Be it king, who's that? Okay, that's fine. Uh, best check for this is Sylveon, so I think I just go into. Oh, I get a burn. Okay, that's kind of huge, actually. Because uh, if this is um, physical, then I am in such a better spot. Uh, I think I just go Sylveon, though. If they U turn, then I'll take, like, very, very little damage. Basically, just rocks damage. And uh, we can kind of see what kind of stuff they are. I do need to try to find a time where I can get. Um, Torkoal back in, though, because I do want to kind of spin away these rocks. Ah, they're Terra Fire. Okay, that's or probably Terra Fire. I'm going to assume Terra Fire here. Right? Yeah, they're Terra Fire. Okay, so good to know. So now they're Terra Fire, which means that if I get Hazard set up, then this can't really be oh, they're Fire Blast. Okay. I don't think Fire Blast is too much, though. Uh, or it does. What? Why did that do so much? Um, that did way more than I thought it would. Uh, if they are... Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna assume this is Specs. If that's Specs, then I think I can go Roaring Moon. Because that felt like it did way more than it should have. Right, like I was... Yeah, that did like around a half. So I think this is Specs of some kind. Which means my best option, I think, is to... It's definitely not Torkoal. Yeah, because that just boosts that power. I guess it's Roaring Moon, right? I just go into Roaring Moon and use this to break. I can take some damage. I'll be okay with that. It would take a lot. It would actually take quite a bit. But, um, yeah, I'd be I'd be alive at least. <laughs> but this was, a, this was way more damage than I wanted to be taking. So this should do less than half if it's what I think it is. Yeah, that does around 70. Okay, this is like modest specs. That's crazy. Um, options here. I kind of just want an EQ. Uh, nothing really switches in on EQ except for like Breloom, which both my checks to Breloom are a little low. Uh, I could also crunch this actually. And Crunch would do quite a bit for Dragon Claw. I'm, I really want a U turn though. Like, I really want a U turn because I think he's going to swap. Um, but if he doesn't swap, who do I go into? Oh, and I just realized my layout's wrong. I don't have bronze on. Uh, yeah, this is like, this is just a huge threat, right? I, God, I want an EQ. There's no EQ immunity, right? Let's just, let's just check quick. Yeah, I think he's gonna swap, but like, I don't know. This is, this is a bit of a risk. Okay, I guess I hadn't updated my way out, so I don't have, I have a uh, Torkoal, that's right. Okay, that does an insane amount of damage. I'm just gonna EQ again. That That's an easy, easy choice for me. Uh, because I'm, I'm a uh, Scarf, so uh, I'll outpace this if it's Scarf too.
Yep, this is a, this is an easy choice for me. Uh, the Okay, so the downside is if I go back into Greyloom after this, what's my play after that? Yeah, because I think they go Greyloom now. So what's my play? Is it to... Is it to, like, sack Torkoal? That's not really what I want to be doing. All right, Breloom, yeah. Um, and I don't really want to sack this now that I know that I'm in a better spot against it. So what do I do against Breloom here? Is it Sylveon? Is Sylveon the play? It's kind of low at this point. So it might be Sylveon. And then after that, I can go into... So what do I do after that then? Do I go into... Oh, I guess I have to go into Bristle? I'd have to go Bristle, I think. And use Bristle to break this. Actually, could I just go Bristle anyway? Maybe I don't really want to sack this. Because if I could go into... Because I don't think it's a grass move, which is why I'd be concerned about going into it. But what if I... Mm. Still does a lot of damage. That's what I'm concerned about. Alright, let's go Sylveon. Although, maybe it was... Okay, I think it was probably better that I go into Great Tusk, actually. Yeah, I think I died to Mock Punch. Oh, they rocked him, actually. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Yeah, I think it's okay. Uh, I think in this case, I think I pretty much have to go into Bristle, and I think I go... God, if I can Rapid Spin... If I can Rapid Spin, I'm in such a good spot. Yeah, I'm gonna Terra and Rapid Spin. Because the... Yeah, they don't have the Ghost Typing anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna Rapid Spin here. Because I think this is Sash. So I can Terra Fairy. They probably go for like Bullet Seed, is my guess. They could, I guess they could technically Rock Tomb. But I think this breaks Sash pretty much no matter what. And then, um, yeah, then I think I'm in a good spot. But I don't think it's, yeah, yeah, I don't think that this is uh, gonna Rock Tomb me. They Bullet Seed, yeah, that's what I would have done too. God, this is so much damage though. <laughs> this is... Ow! What the heck? Oh, don't crit me. Okay, got the hit three times. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Uh, and now I think it's just play rough is the play. Um, yeah, let's let's play rough. But getting this chip down is really... Oh, getting this Sash broken? I'm pretty sure it's Sash. I think it's just best for me to have played like that. Because um, now with the speed boost, now I should outspeed pretty much everything. Um, the only one I'm not sure about is if I outspeed Dragapult, which I don't think I do, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't think I outspeed Dragapult, but I'm going to check it. And he won't know that for sure. He won't know that for sure, so maybe. Well, let's see what he does now. If he goes Dragapult, I... Oh. Okay, I was not expecting that. RPS, who's that? Okay, that's you. God, what if I had Rapid Spin again? I mean, Rapid Spin again wasn't the right play, but... Still. This is nice. Being able to get this uh, Pokemon gone is, like, really good for me. But then, what's he going into? Honestly, not sure. Would it be Cinderace? No. Hampton, who's that? That's you. Gastrodon, huh? Now, if it's a Gastrodon, then... I mean, Close Combat does a ton of damage to this. But I can also just go into Lamprey again, right? Yeah, let's just do that. Um, and I think I potentially just Thunderbolt... Yeah, I probably actually am just going to Thunderbolt. Yeah, Earth Power. Cool. Yeah, that's perfect for me. Because uh, once I get this chip down a little bit more, then I'm in a pretty good spot. Now the question is, do I want to try to read this uh, with a different move? Or um, 
or Giga Drain and just pick up the KO. Honestly, I kind of want a Thunderbolt. I know it does nothing to this mod, but it does everything to the mods that, are, that would potentially come in on it. So I'm going to Thunderbolt. I don't think he wants to lose it. I could have Volt Switched, I guess. Ooh, maybe Volt Switch was the play. <sighs> the other question is, does he want to sacrifice this? I don't think he would, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So we are going to pick up some damage on something. Be a king. Who's that? That's the... That's you. Cool. Okay, this is perfect. Please? Burn? Please? Yes. Okay. That's amazing. Because that one was a pain. <laughs> Huge pain. So this is a much better situation for us. Uh, so the question is, what is he going to go into, and uh, am I scared of them? Probably not. I think because I'm at, I'm at max HP right now, I feel like I can take most hit, most hits from things. Questionably. Hard to say for sure. But we'll see what they decide to do. Okay, that's the... That's Cinderace. Okay. Um... My check to this is weak right now, so I'm just going to Thunderbolt. Yeah. We're just going to Thunderbolt. Oh, we don't have any rocks anymore. Okay, that's actually kind of nice. I forgot we spun those away. You turn Okay, that's fine with me. Um, they probably go Gastro. Ow! Ow! That was way too much damage. That's got to be banded, right? That has to be banded. That was way too much damage on a U-turn. Way too much damage on a U-turn. Yeah, definitely banded. Okay, good to know. So it's banded Cinderace. Uh, I mean, I think you read a Thunderbolt, right? You do not read a Thunderbolt. Okay, this is great. Well, I guess it's kind of, right? It's, it's kind of reading a Thunderbolt. Okay, that's good. That's solid damage, though. I'll take that. So it looks like we are probably sacrificing this and then picking up the KO. Um, then we go Volcarona. We pick up the KO with Fiery Dance. Can I live a Bandit Cinderace hit with Volcarona? I'm gonna guess no. No, I cannot. Can anyone on my team live a Bandit hit with, with that? Not at this HP. Okay. Um, Alright, I guess we flamethrower this. Yeah, we flamethrower this, for sure. Yeah, Bolt Seed. That makes sense. I think I have to go into Great Tusk to revenge this. Um, although, wait, I thought I, I think I saw it remember being slower than Breloom. Was I slower? I think I was. Oh, shoot. That might be bad. Yeah, I think I saw I have to go here. I have to pick up the KO. And, um, yes, yeah, so we just Fiery Dance. There's, oh, I could also Psychic. Do I want to reveal Psychic? I kind of want to, do, I kind of want to, actually. Because if the Cinderace does come in, I want to be able to hit it at least. Yeah, let's go and reveal Psychic. Um, honestly, if the Gastrodon comes in, I'm going to try to Quiver Dance. And then if they, okay, cool. So we pick up this KO. We're going to pick up the Breloom KO. Now, that means that our... I think that means Roaring Moon can win this. Because I think I sack Torkoal. Oh, that might be the way. Because I think I sack Torkoal, go into Roaring Moon. If we have Sun Up, then I think we get the KO on Gastrodon. Yeah, yeah, we're going to sack Torkoal with sun up yeah with sun up we do a ton of damage to gastron so we're gonna we're gonna sack torkoal a uh, little scary to set sun up for this mon but um is what it is i'm pretty sure it's, it's just what i need to do uh because it also sets up sun up for the rest of my team and that part that part's good we actually take that hit that's wild um Earth power is the way to go. Let's just Earth power. 
like I said, we're, we're sacrificing this mon because we want to get into uh, Roaring Moon. Oh, wait. Okay, if I get a chance. Yeah, we get some damage on this. We wake up. Okay, oh my god, wait. What if I... Okay, I kind of want to set rocks, actually. If I can set rocks, that seems good for me. What moves do you have, though? Yeah, I'm going to set rocks. I'm going to try to set rocks. I don't think I'm going to be able to set rocks, but I'm going to try. And then if we can Quiver Dance once with our... Volcarona, then I think we can KO Cinderace. That one's kind of questionable, to be honest. Chilling water. Yeah, that picks up the KO. Okay. Uh, but... Ooh, this is... This is maybe possible. Because I can literally just go Volcarona and... Uh, I could also literally just Psychic too, right? Because this Mon isn't going to be able to do enough damage to KO me. Um, do I Quiver Dance here? That's really my the one I'm not sure about. Because I could also... Hmm. I could get Psychic damage on an incoming Cinderace. And then I would probably sack. Yeah, I kind of feel like this might be the play. I really want a Quiver Dance, though. Because Quiver Dance puts me in such a good spot. What does this do against Quiver Dance? It could technically have, like, Clear Smog, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to Quiver Dance. Let's see what they have. This mod does have some coverage that could hit me. But so far, I haven't seen anything that makes me think that they have a way of touching me. Yawn. That's what they have. But they don't have Protect, because they have Hazards. They have Hazards. They have uh, Yawn. Okay. Okay, okay. That, this, is, this is cool with me. Because uh, I think I just Giga Drained this. No, do I want this to fall asleep? I Psychic this, or do I swap? I think it's better that I just stay in, honestly. Um, and let's Psychic. So that's what their play was for uh, Quiver Dance. Makes sense. Makes sense. But Psychic doesn't allow uh, Cinderace back in. And that's, I think, the important play here. If I Giga Drain, then I'd let Cinderace back in with very, very minimal damage, and that's not what I want. And maybe if this falls asleep, then I can get enough damage to where Great Tusk maybe picks up the KO with Rapid Spin. That would honestly be amazing. Hmm, questionable. Uh, I might also just be able to wake up. Which would also be sweet. Yeah, which would also be amazing. So we're asleep now. We're gonna 100% take a sleep turn next turn. Um. Hmm. Do I swap though? Do I swap expecting them to swap? Because I don't think that they're gonna stay in. I think it's more likely that they swap. Um. Because the other option is I could go into Taruk. Um, expecting the switch. Uh, the question is, does the Gastrodon do enough damage to me? And if it does, am I in a bad position with that? I don't think so, though. I really don't think it's going to do very much damage to me at all. Like, even with Earth Power? Like, this Pokemon is just so bulky. So I think I just go into... Um, yeah, I think I just go into... Yeah, I go into this. Then I have the option of swapping... They did not swap, actually. Oh, wait, no, they, they could. They could still. I would swap first if we both swap. I think they'd swap, though. They're chilling water. Uh, that might be okay-ish. It depends on how much health this has. Hmm, maybe. Maybe. I'm gonna crunch, though. Am I gonna crunch? I'm gonna U-turn, I think. is probably better. Let's go and U-turn. 
They don't have recovery on this, right? Maybe I shouldn't have let Volcarona fall asleep. This is kind of a tough endgame now I'm thinking more about it. Because, like, they have Yawn Pressure, so I can't set up. If I ever go... But I don't think they can swap either. We... Well, okay, I, I really need to Rook, though, actually. Like, I need the speed control. Yeah, that does a little bit of damage. I, I kind of am okay going back to Volcarona, because Volcarona isn't so great against Cinderace. But these other two mods could be okay. And maybe I can delay a turn here. And that could be okay. And, like, yeah, I get a super effective, but, like, that's not really doing that much damage. Uh, now, do I want to risk the wake up turn? Well, I still have the Great Tusk Sack, right? I kind of, I'm cool with wait, with uh, the wake up turn. Uh, in that case, I think we we psychic. Yeah, let's go on psychic. Okay, that's fine. So we've taken a turn of sleep. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and Giga Drain this turn. Um, yeah, because I want to make sure I pick up this KO. And I'm not sure I would pick it up if um, I use Psychic. I think it's probably just better I pick up this KO. And then um, I put myself, I think, in the winning end game against the um, other Mon here. So it's going to Giga Drain. Cool, we'll pick up this KO. So Gastrodon's down. And what do they lock themselves into? If it's, any, if it's not a fire move, then... I have a chance to burn them, which seems good. Um, does Great Tusk live a hit from Bandit Cinderace? I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess no. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really guess no. Um, especially that our low HP that we have. Uh, yeah. So I think we psychic hope for some damage. Quick attack. This has a chance to burn them. And actually, we okay. This I think has this. This I think has it. Yeah, pretty sure. Pretty sure we're good now, because uh, quick attack should not do enough damage um, to even great tusk. And we get two chances to burn, uh, which seems perfect. Yeah, uh, I think we'll go here first, though. Um, Uh, honestly, I, actually, this is probably better. Yeah, let's, let's just go here. Then I can close combat. And not have to worry about that. Um, and just close, yeah, just close combat. And I think this is going to be enough to pick up our KO. Unless they're not banded. If they're not banded, then I'm going to feel really silly about this. But at least I'll know, and then... Nah, they seem banded. They seem hecka banded. Yeah. And this will pick up KO. Cool. All right. We pick up the 2-0 victory. I'm uh, really happy with how the team played. And I felt like I played the team fairly well. Um, I had to make some sacrifices at uh, some specific times, I think, in order to open up some of our breakers. Um, and definitely got got a little bit lucky with our Electros. It looks like they just forgot about Levitate. Um, so that Earth Power was, uh, was not so great uh, from their side of things. And we got some free damage. Uh, but aside from that, I'm really happy with how the team played. Really happy with how I played it as well. So, uh, yeah, good game over to Dell. If you'd like to catch up, catch any more of our content, whether it is VGC or Singles Draft League, uh, this is the place to be. Like, subscribe, and all that stuff. And I'll catch you on the next one.